Hi, it's Sheila with Quick Flex. Um, I'm going to take and show you how I did a couple prop masks to be used for that. Um, you saw quite a few videos, if, if you're a follower, that I did of the Monsters, Inc. Um, uh, party favors. So, anyway, this was these were the images. It was from, um, actually, this particular image I got on Etsy. First thing I did, these were actually costumes and boo inside here. First thing I'm going to do is do my trace area. And let me do her first. And take the high pass filter off and fill it all in there and trace and detach. And then just get rid of this because there's a box around them. Remember that even though you can't see, I said on the last video, even though you can't see a box, there is an invisible box around them, so you have to trace them. Even though they look like they're, they're all ready to cut, they're not. If you do the trace lines, it's going to be a box. So you have to remove that invisible box. So I'm going to fill this in and do a trace and release. Um, there is a reason that I have to do this with the knife um, because of the white teeth. I tried to do it where I removed the feet, the face. However, when you do the trace, um, you take the high pass filter uh, and if I bring it up to where I want it to cut out like just the face and then remove these other pieces it removes the teeth and there's still hair in here and I want this whole oval including the teeth removed so I did it by hand with the with the knife okay come on get out of there okay um, what I did is I zoomed in really really close and the first thing I'm going to do is take my knife, and on the curve, I'm going to take and curve, not freehand. I am going to cut a, her head off. I'm going to chop Boo's head off here. Okay, there we go, and I don't need this piece. Now... Um, the second thing that I'm going to do is I am going to remove, well, yeah, I'm going to cut them. However, I'm not going to completely remove them yet. I'll show you why later. And then I'm going to go down here, and I'm not going to do this whole thing because I've already done it. You're going to take your knife on the curve and you're going to cut. And I just moved my mouse and didn't cut where I wanted to. And I want to cut right here and right here. Again, there's different ways that you can do it. However, with the teeth here, I want the teeth in my image. So this is the way I'm doing it. And then, again, I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm just showing you how I cut. Now, if I cut it out correct, I can go from here to here. And if I did it right, which I didn't, let me zoom in. I'm missing a spot. Now, if I zoom in really close, maybe not quite that close, and go around, let me see where there's a piece that's not detached. I'm going to go down here. Oh, right there I can see a piece that's not detached. So I'm going to bring this from here to here. And the closer you zoom in, the better you're going to get. Let me see if that worked. That worked. I'm going to delete this piece, and then I'm going to zoom out. And then that's how you're going to do the whole thing, and you're going to have to go around the teeth and everything on both of these. That is, whoops, I forgot one part here. I don't want to cut the whole thing out, but I want these horns. I don't know how that got tilted. That didn't mean to do. Let me tilt that back to where it was. I'm not real sure where it was. I must, must have accidentally cut a piece off and didn't realize it. I don't know what I did. And the reason that um, I said I'm going to cut them off is because the 
person that wants these props wants them and the horns to be white. So I'm going to do my my um, offset. I'm going to take it to point zero five. Then I'm going to color it white, not the face. Uh, come on, get me my offset. Come on, white and white, and drag him and put him back up there. Of course, I didn't have all the face cut off, so you can't really tell, but I'm going to show you. And then I'm going to ungroup this piece, and I'm going to delete this and delete that, and I got the white that she wanted. Okay, now, and I did the exact same thing with her um, trace, and then take your curved knife and cut the head off. I followed the darker green. Because all I want is this head. And then again, you're going to cut out the entire face. So you're going to have to use your curve and go around all of the teeth. And remove this completely. Because this is what it's going to look like when it's done. And I'm going to move this over here. So for the prop, I'm going to, I'm going to put it together and show you how I made the props. I've got one for Mike and I've got one for this Sully. And on the video that I'm going to do right now, I'm going to show you how I actually put the props together. I just wanted to show you how I cut it off of my image and got just the head. One of the reasons I decided to go with it this way rather than the other images that are the, the um, images that I used in the rest of the centerpieces is because Mike only has one eye. And to make a prop with him, where are you gonna where are you gonna cut his eyes out? You could have his mouth closed and use these eyes and have a prop and the child just their eyes showing through. However, Mike, you can't because he's got one big eye here. And I liked it better with the whole mouth open and the baby the, the child's face peeking through the mouth, just like it is with the costume here with um, Boo. That is how it would be. So anyway. I'm going to be back here um, in a second, and hi, get back. Okay, I didn't mean to cut that filming off. I think I was right in the middle of saying something when I stopped and paused um, the cameo film that I was doing. Um, somebody had asked me yesterday, because I did a cameo um, film, and she asked me if there was an upgrade out there, because it looked different than hers. Um, I have the business edition, and the business edition does look totally different. Um, the colors on it are different, too. Something fell down on top of what I have printing. It's going to ruin it. Anyway, all right. Here is the Sully um, image cut out, and here is the mic. And, uh, again, you have to do all of this by hand because when you do the trace, it will only trace the colors. It's not going to trace the white, and so it doesn't cut out right. Somebody else. Uh, by the way, I do appreciate, because there have been a couple of people that have answered some of my questions regarding the um, doing the scallop, um, the way I do it versus the way, the right way to do it, so you can size it. Um, I haven't tried it because, number one, I never use it. So um, until I have to use it, I was just trying to help somebody that had asked me. But um, I did try it the way that somebody had suggested because I've never used it. So first thing that I did is I cut out two background pieces. These are two offsets, and I'm going to show you why. I'm going to do him first. He was, my, he was a mistake on the back. He was too small, but I didn't want to throw him away. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a quarter-inch dowel rod, and I'm going to hot glue it to the side of my prop. And this is for you to hold, for, not you, the child. I think that this is going to be a... Ah, yeah, that's fine. And then I'm going to go all around the outline of the face to reinforce it with popsicle sticks so that when the photos are being taken, this isn't all flopping around. And it will be because it's not real thick. And it will be when I'm done because I'm putting a lot of sticks on here. And 
I think I pretty much have my Christmas uh, decorating done. Did that today. Finished it up today. Um, trying to get in a in the spirit of stop and and stop thinking about the negative of what's going on. Um, as everybody knows, my daughter's going through a very 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 I call it an ugly divorce. Um, in the long run, she is going to be so much better off. It's it. She's going to be, yeah, it's going to be awesome. However, in the meantime, it isn't easy because she has two small children. So it takes a lot to convince her that there's light at the end of the tunnel. There isn't only light. There is a bright, bright, shiny, huge light. She is getting rid of a what I would call a thorn in anybody's side. So it is no loss other than the fact that there's children and I, I'm sorry to sound so bitter but I tell it like it is no loss at all except for the children but the children will still he will still be involved in their lives until he finds something he finds more important to do one of those kinds of dads I'm sure there's a whole ton of them out there there's a ton of good ones and there's a ton of not so good and so I keep reassuring my daughter the time will come where, where his mission will be accomplished in living in a penthouse downtown or some high rise or something because that's what his goal in life is to not be a family man. You know, if you feel that way and it comes from the inside, it doesn't change. So those of you that have been praying for her, please it's still, this is one of the reasons that getting Christmas, everybody getting everything done is, is this is her favorite time of the year and I want to make it as, as long as I possibly can. Um, she's already filed and that 120 days waiting period has already, the clock has started ticking. And my next party I'm planning is for the day that it is final. And I know I sound terrible because I am not that kind of person. This is not, I do not believe in divorce. I do not support divorce. Um, especially me having been married for 40 some years. But you know, I'm also, also smart enough to know that there are times when it's done, it's done and move on. There are times that there is no help. And there we go. There is Mike. And I'm not going to put my face in that mask. I'm not going to do that. And not Mike, Sully. I knew that was Sully. Now I'm going to do Mike. I taped the first one on the back just to give it a little bit more strength. And what else do I have going on? Polar Bear Express is coming up pretty soon. Um, Thanksgiving is right around the corner. However, um, my kids talked me into having Thanksgiving here again. I thought we'd do it at my other daughter, whose house is huge, old Mongo, huge, huge the one that just built the house. And you could fit half the city in her living room. But they want to do it here because that's what they grew up with and that's what they know. And so, so whatever. Do whatever. Do whatever they want. It's been the story of my life. Their wish is my command. You know, that's the one thing that I will say. I lost my peg. Oh, it's right here. Is that uh, my husband and myself, um, after we had children, our kids became our number one priority. Not us. It was our children. Whatever was best for them. I'm not saying it's always easy, but... Um, life, you know, no one said life was supposed to be easy. That's what it, you know, you do what you got to do and you're trying and pray to God you make the right choices. And I do believe that we did. Uh, got wonderful, wonderful kids and fabulous grandkids that are keeping us all together here. Um, Will today, he's three and a half. He... Um, all day long kept saying, Nama, you're the best Nama ever. And then he'd say, oh, Nama, I need a hug. And oh, Nama, 
Um, I want you to cuddle with me. And oh, he just, he was such a sweetheart, just such a sweetheart. And I told my daughter, it's not the daughter going through the divorce, it's her sister. I told her, I wonder if he senses something or if he's just being all emotional with the holidays because everything here is decorated and he's so excited. But I got voted best NAMA. And you know what? I took it and ran with it. Um, I think he knows how to play me too. Gets what he wants, you know. Such a little cutie. But it would be one thing if it was once, but it was all day long. So all I kept thinking is, boy, he's got something going on in his little mind. But nothing ever, nothing ever happened, other than the, the hugs and the kisses and the. You know, that tell me I was the best Nama ever all day. He did tell me, though, he, he was downstairs by the tree, and oh my gosh, he just, he gets to the house in the morning because I take care of the three of my older daughter, and he gets to the house every day now in the morning, and he's fully clothed and, and ready for the day. If we go on an outing or whatever, he's all ready. But he walks in the door now with a suitcase, which I don't know why he brings a suitcase because I have all the clothes here that I would possibly need. But he needs to put his jammies on every day when he gets here. There's something about having jammies on. He calls them night clothes. So he walks in and says, Nam, I'm going to go put my night clothes on. And then he puts his night clothes on. He goes, okay, Nam, I'm turn the fireplace on. I want to turn the tree on. So we sit down there and he goes, Nam, as soon as it gets dark, it's going to be Christmas. Somebody had asked me, they said, how do you keep him away from the gifts this early in the year? Well, he was only two last year, so he wasn't into it. I mean, I mean, he was... Yeah, he was too young to understand what was going on, but this year he's just old. He's just just enough older that he knows some of those presents are for him from Nam and Papa, and so he thinks when it gets dark, it's going to be time to open them. Probably wasn't such a good idea to put them out this early because they do have to wait another six weeks. But you know what? After I get all this done, I'm going to make some traditional um, Venezuelan food. Any Venezuelans that watch this, I'm going to make a yuccas, and I'm going to make pan de jamón, and then we're going to do Christmas cookies and gingerbread houses and do all sorts of stuff to keep our minds occupied, um, busy, and happy thoughts. I spent the whole entire day, the afternoon today praying that I could get this anger um, out of my heart because I am not a mean person. I am not. It takes a lot to upset me because normally when somebody does something, I usually feel bad for them rather than me. But this particular case, it attacks my child. So the normally nice person that I am has transformed into not such a nice person. And here's Mike. I'm going to take some close-up pictures. And also, if anybody does movie nights at home and they want to see a movie, my recommendation, however, if anybody's seen it out there, they might think I'm nuts, but um, I went and bought Malefic um, Maleficent. Yeah, Maleficent with um, Je um, Angelina Jolie, and it's based on the story of Sleeping Beauty. However, it kind of um, leads you up to why she became the Wicked Witch. Um, not Sleeping Beauty, but the Wicked Witch. And... Um, I got it and watched it for the first time yesterday and for the tenth time today. I have it running nonstop. Absolutely, absolutely love it. And somebody asked me if it was scary. Um, we tried to watch it last night or Saturday night for the first time. Uh, my son and future daughter-in-law and, and my granddaughter Kendall, we were all, and Kendall after a few minutes into it said she wanted to go. She didn't want to watch it. So there's parts of it that are scary, but it's not a scary movie. There's just a couple parts that are kind of scary for little ones. But if you can get them past that, the graphics and the little characters and stuff, it's awesome. I loved it. Anyway, it was a happy movie. I'm going to take some pictures here for you, and I'm done. Um, I'm working on, I can't believe I've got two more of this Monsters University that I'm working on. I'm trying to think of what else I'm going to be making. I'm going to try and do some scrapbook pages, and also for each one of my grandkids when they were born, I did a little, um, probably an 18-inch um, little Christmas tree and handmade the 
decorations um, and I made a pink one all done in pink, pink decorations for Kendall and then I did a blue one for um, Will and then I did a purple one for Charlie and I have Wyatt and Isabel to do and Isabel's is going to be purple so I might be doing a video on some handmade using um, Cricut cartridge has some dimensional Cric um, ornaments however as you all will know I will not be using the Cricut machine to make them but I may be using the Cricut cartridge in my screenshots to actually make the ornaments um, all depends I've got a lot on my plate so I'm going to try and keep keep up on my videos again not going to make any promises because right now I've got a lot going on anyway enjoy and have a wonderful night bye bye